TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, June edition, with your hosts Pablo Gunner, Marvin Goof, The Ambassador, and we are here to talk nerdy to you about some Xbox Showcase. There was the Xbox Showcase, so and that looks really great. There's a uh, Codbo 6, Indiana Jones update, Gears of War E Day. Oh my God, Ooh, that, that looks, looks so like great. It could be good. Huh. Yes, see how it I mean goes. I love Dom and Phoenix. How can you not want yeah, to return for that? Mm -hmm. The only downside is they confirmed there will be no Lancer because the Lancer isn't invented yet. You have to use the retro Lancer. Right. Yeah. yeah obviously. I mean, they might invent it during the game. I hope so. That would be better because the Lancer is like the best weapon in Gears of War. So, but yeah. Then there's Doom Dark Ages. That looked epic. Oh, it looks so sick. And that's supposed to be a prequel as well. Avowed, they showed more Avowed, which looks awesome. Diablo Cuatro, Vessel of Hatred. I mean, I'm not a big Diablo guy, but... I mean, that, that trailer looked awesome. That's the thing is, when you just show a trailer, I go like, okay, that trailer looks awesome. Gameplay, I'm not into the gameplay of Diablo. I'm not a big fan of that. That's I fine. played Diablo 4 initially when it came out on, on PlayStation, mm -hmm. mind you. So, I mean, there could be a different experience. But, yeah. You know, it's definitely an, an interesting play loop. You're just looking for loot and stuff. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. Adding, you know, adding more stuff to the game is always Yeah, good, I mean, so. if you're into it, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. You're Yeah. That's your thing. Then we have Flight Simulator 2024. I love Flight Simulator. I wish I could just play it all the time because it's just nice and calming uh, until I clap, crash into... Mount Kilimanjaro, but uh, <laughs> but it's still beautiful the whole time. I'm like, that's fine. I don't mind going out this way. <laughs> <laughs> and there's WoW, World of Warcraft, The War Within. If you're into WoW, there you go. Dragon Age, The Veil Guard, which I am disappointed that they changed the name because I was really loving the name Dreadwolf, and I was like, why, what, why do you have to change the name? Like, why did they change the story? I I'm curious why they had to change the name. Like, what was so essential that they had to change the name? Mm -hmm. But the, you could tell the trailer was focused on, that's the thing, is your team is guarding the veil. Like, they are the veil guard. Mm -hmm. And I love Inquisition. It looks like they're continuing from Quinquisition. And so I'm absolutely there and all for it and all about it. And it looks beautiful and awesome mm -hmm. and epic. Next was uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Oh, I'm, I'm continuing to love everything that I see about that as well because you have your samurai. You can play as a samurai and then you can play as like your ninja character. Mm -hmm. And that looks so awesome that you can switch. You know, and I don't know how, how exactly you can switch, but... I'm so for it, and the gameplay just looks so good. I also I'm interested of, about the story, too. Because yeah, I also like the idea of, the, of using Yasuke. Yes! Like this legendary figure that like I barely found out about a few years Did ago. Did you see the anime of him? Not yet, Oh, no. it's so good, but dude. He's, yeah. uh, the real-life Yasuke story is kind of boring. Hmm. You really have to add a lot of dramatic flair to get entertaining. Basically, he was basically just... Some uh, Japanese lord's uh, servant. Mm -hmm. And that's why you watch the anime, because then it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and epic and crazy. Yeah, I think it's a <laughs> and hopefully they, they continue with that in yeah. this. Not not to that ridiculous degree, obviously, because it's Assassin's Creed, but still, yeah. yeah. Ninjas were women, most of them. And mm -hmm. so, like, that's going to be really cool how that's how they're going to play. And I love how Assassin's Creed always plays into this, like... How it is kind of like science, or it's like fiction history, sort of. Like, they play with it, but they do kind of inform you of the actual history along the way, too. So I love that. Agreed. And, uh, I mean, even, like, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which I've been playing too much, and that's why I didn't watch tons of stuff this month. <laughs> because there's history in that, too. I love reading all the scrolls and, and learning stuff. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. I feel like that looked awesome. Uh, Age of Mythology Retold, that, that's, if you're into those kinds of games, that looked great. Fable, I mean, I will say it looks awesome. I did want, like, a prequel sort of story or return to form, which is them doing, like, more fantasy than more and less, like, you know, rapiers and, and, and revolutionary times or, or, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's, I, I like the, the, just go, just go into more fantasy, you know, I, I like that. But it still looks cool, so we'll see. Uh, Mixtape. 
Perfect Dark, which, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. It is Perfect Dark, like, oh my gosh. Yes, like, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's, it looks so cool, the, the, the stuff that they're doing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, Expedition 33, South of Midnight looked really epic and awesome and crazy and nuts. That looks really cool. Uh, Starlight Shattered Space, I still need to play that. I still need to play Starlight. I feel like I would love it just because I love Skyrim, but I think I would love it more if it was in space and in the future. So, uh, so yeah. State of Decay 3, that looks awesome. Uh, Wu Chang Fallen Feathers, that looks beautiful and awesome. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online Gold Road. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, that looks awesome. That looks so <laughs> sick. Uh, then Fallout 76, Skyline Valley, Life is Strange, Double Exposure, and I just hope it doesn't suck. Like, I just want it to be good. I, I mean, I'll be happy if it's mediocre. <laughs> and I just don't want them to ruin what's already been so good. Like, especially, like, like you already did the first one. Don't ruin it. But they're know? bringing back Max. Yeah. For so. that one. But I think it might be kind of going into some one of the comics type stuff, it seems like. It's um, a murder mystery where, uh, you... In one reality, this person gets killed, and so you're traveling between both realities to figure out who did it, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to figure it out because uh, in the reality that the person's still alive, there's still a killer on the loose that is going to start killing people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's that's really cool too because just because I've seen some of the stuff that they did in it, and it, it just. It, it, I, I just, I'm ready to turn back to it, but it seems like they are taking stuff like the whole universe thing that's definitely from the comics. Uh, sea of Thieves, Season 13. Uh, Adam Fall, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn. Winterboro, Fragpunk, Mecha Break looks cool. That looks like gun. It looks like the egg, the Gundam game that you've always wanted. <laughs> like, it just looks so sick. Um, and then there's this other game, like, this is a smaller game, but it's called Yar Rising by Atari. And it reminds me of this game called Shadow complex which is of similar to the similar to uh metroid like the old school metroid like that's what it looks like with like updated graphics oh so well i do want to say before i move on that is definitely a must see so i'm just hitting off the the, the high points definitely watch it because of course it's different than watching us i mean mm. we're, we'll probably throw in some some things here and there yeah. but you want to watch that that it's definitely a must see especially if you're an xbox person and, and if you're just in the gaming period, like, you're going to want to watch it. Let's talk about our merch. Let's talk about our merch. I'm sporting uh, our Star Wars stuff, the Star Wars Talk Nerdy to Me, just plain. And then I got the shorts, Talk Nerdy to Me. You can get that on our website. It's on sale with free shipping. Probably going to continue to be because of the fact that Acolyte is continuing into the next month. A lot of this stuff is, like, prototype stuff. So it's upgraded. There's better versions on our actual website. And, hey... If there's anything that you want customized to you or you there anything you have any idea, just send it to us and we'll do our best to do that and see what we can get away with. Because there's some stuff we can, some stuff we can't. <laughs> you know, we push the boundaries as much as we can. <laughs> yeah, I got my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Talk Nerdy to Me shirt. Sure. Pretty awesome. I got the Halo web. The good Halo. Ooh, yeah. Yes. I like it. So, yeah. Uh, and if you want any of this stuff, just... Request it. If it's not on the website, just hit us up and, and we'll make it available to you and, and hook you up. Cool? So for shoutouts, we really don't have much uh, because, um, well, I mean, all, MK Jekyll and Hyde is now at the top of that list because they're phenomenal. They reached 250 subs on their for their comics, for their online comics, and, and they're really cool and really awesome, and, and they do great stuff. I know they're a, a parent as well. And so it's, it's great conversing with them and just all their posts are great. The Pesky Gremlins, they have a new website and they have like new comics, web comics out too that look fun and enjoyable. And, and they always help out with their stuff. Eric Lopez, that guy's always a G, like he's the best on, on Twitter mm -hmm. and retweeting our stuff as well as the podcast that never dies or what, what is it? The podcast that wouldn't die? The podcast that wouldn't yeah, die. Yeah, the podcast yes. that wouldn't die. They're always awesome too. Check them all out. I believe that's it for us, right? Yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all.